안녕하세요. How are you today? We're in Korea, so good morning. I hope you're having a great day. Grab your Bible, James chapter 5. I wish you could be here with me. You could see out my window. There is a mountain, but it's so hazy today. Yeah, there you can see it a little bit. There's our mountain right outside our window. At the top of it is an observatory, and at night it lights up, and it looks like there's a moon on our mountain. It's kind of cool. And the birds are all whistling. It's almost 70 degrees here. It's lovely. But anyway, we're going to do our Bible lesson today. So grab your Bible, James chapter 5. Now, James is going to end this book. We have a couple more lessons in it, but he's going to end this book on a very important topic, and that is the topic of prayer. What is prayer? Think about it. We pray before our meals. Um, pastor prays before he preaches. He prays when he introduces things. What is prayer? Prayer is us talking to God. Okay? When we read the Bible, he's talking to us. But he wants us to talk to him. Now, he doesn't want us to just bring all of our whole long list of Oh, Lord, please take care of the sick. Please take care of the missionaries. Oh, I hope you give me a good day tomorrow. I hope, thank you for this food. It, he doesn't want just a list. He wants us to talk to him, okay? Just like we would talk to, to you <laughs> or a friend or our parents. He wants us to communicate. He wants to know what's really, truly on our hearts. So James is going to talk about that today. So James chapter 5, grab your Bible, verses 13 through 15 is what we're going to do today. So verse 13, it says, is any among you afflicted? Okay, what he's saying here is, is anybody suffering? Do you have problems in your life? So what does he tell him to do? Let him pray. Talk to God about it. Good advice. Is any Mary, is anybody running around the house really happy today? They're having a great time. Then what does he say? He says, let them, let him sing psalms. Part of our prayer life should be praise to God. Did you know that? We need to be thankful. We need to tell him that we're thankful. So he says, once again, if you're married, pray. Okay. Is any among you sick? Ooh, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. So for the third one, he says, call other people, have them pray with you. Now, this one is really interesting, though, because he says, is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. That's the pastors and the deacons of the church and let them pray over him. It's kind of important that we have our church family praying with us. But he goes a step farther and he says, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, back then, they didn't have big hospitals, okay? Your mom wouldn't have had a big job then, all right? So, but they did have oil and that's what they took care of things with. You know, we think of melaleuca oil, tea tree oil, um, what we diffuse in our house. Those are medical oils. They actually heal. They actually can kill bacteria. Um, but that's what they had. So what he's saying here is do what medically you can, but pray. Don't just do what the world says medically you need to do, but pray and ask God for healing. Okay? And the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Now, I thank the Lord for our doctors and our nurses. Without them, I wouldn't be alive. God gave them the knowledge to take care of us. Isn't that wonderful? But God is the healer, not our doctors, not the medicine we take. God heals us. He is in control. He is the great physician. That means he is the great doctor. He's the one that we pray for and he does miracles. He he returns life to people. All those miracles that Jesus did in the Bible, that was him showing us that he is our miracle worker. So we need to pray for him. And it says, and the Lord shall raise him up and if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Now there are some people out there who believe that you're only sick if you're sinful. Boy, is that wrong. 
I'm just going to say it flat out. Nope, that's not it. We get sick because of germs. We get sick because we don't take care of ourselves. Um, sometimes, very, very seldom, we have sickness because we sin. I shouldn't say very seldom. There's a lot of sicknesses out there that are due to people sinning and not doing what God wants them to do. But he says, if if you've prayed and you've you've done the medical expedient, um, and and if he has committed sins. We need to ask God to forgive us for our sins. And that helps in the healing process. Did you know that emotionally, if you have a lot of stress in your life, it causes your immune system to break down and you stop healing as fast? So, so when we confess our sins and ask forgiveness of God, that's part of prayer. Um, he, he heals us and he answers our prayers. So, we have, he says, is any among you suffering? Pray. Is any among you happy? Pray by giving praise. Is any among you sick? Ask other people to pray and God will hear us. Prayer is very important. Prayer shouldn't just be a list of, Lord, I need this. Please do this for me. Wouldn't you get kind of tired if that's all anybody ever said to you is, please do this for me. Don't, you, you just, just do this for me. I need this. I need this today. And that's somehow, sometimes how we, we pray. And it shouldn't be that way. Our prayer should include praise. We should take our request to him. It should include other people. And then it also needs to be um, a time where we ask Christ to forgive us for our sins that we've committed that day. So I want you to think about prayer today. Have you actually stopped and talked to God and asked him to help you in your life? Have you praised him for what he's done for you? Or have you just said, thank you for the food, amen? Oh, let's take our prayers far more than that. Let's pray and actually talk to the God who created us. I love you. I hope you're going to have a great day. Bye-bye.